Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well today. I'm just here to do Marguerite Miller's five prompt collage challenge. I haven't done one lately. I am a little behind, but I'm not going to catch up right now. I am just going to pick up where, where she is. And that is week, where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Week 18. So today's prompts are a name, an animal, a travel item, something black and white, something written or drawn with your non-dominant hand, and a triangle. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, need to weight that down a little. There we go. And again, I'm just doing it in my journal. Keep switching back and forth where I do it. And I've just brought some things I thought that might be cute as the animal. I've got a truck for travel around in. I've just got some background papers I will probably use. Um, Got a name, and what else? I'm hiding some things. Come here. Oh, no wonder that wasn't flat. Okay, black and white, I've got a number, and I've also got some black and white washi tape. Oh, and I grabbed a piece of this, too. It's the pattern paper, fresh pattern paper. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but Let's just begin. And I'm going to put a little bit of paper in the background. I like doing that. And get my glue stick. Well, I think those planners that Marguerite has are so nice. The background pages, oh, I think they're so pretty. It's nice, because if you want, you could just leave that down. Maybe I'll put it like this, since we've got this nice stamping over here. But yeah, her background papers are so nice on each page. That would be nice to use that for part of your background. They're so pretty. I think I'll use some of this music sheet too. I have no plan yet as to where I want what. Sometimes dangerous, right? Start gluing things down and then discover, hmm, that's not working so good. But that's okay. Let's tear that down a little. And I think I'm going to ink this. a few weeks in these. It's really a fun challenge. But that's okay. I can always catch up. I left my glue stick with the cap off for like, I don't know, a couple hours. It gets so gloppy. I hate when I do that. 
much as I love this glue, it just does not like being out in the air for very long. Doesn't like it. Put the top on. All right, how are we going to do this? Uh, probably should have. Ooh, that's kind of pretty, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Not sure how I'm going to do this. Where's my scissors? Um. It keeps falling back there. I'm just going to cut it down on somewhat and decide what, what I'm going to do here. We have the cat riding. No, I don't think that's going to work. If we just put it over here. Hmm. Kind of thinking I wish I would have gotten something else for travel. Let I me... Mean, around this a little more and see how we can make this work. Has to be a way, right? Usually I try to get a few different things in each category to give myself some choices. Not sure why I didn't hear. Well, let's trim that part off too. Okay, we keep chopping up this truck. What about something like that? Kind of weird, but. I actually kind of like it. Let's see. Oh, my poor glue. I can't even use it. I've got to see if I can just scrape a thin layer of that off. Maybe I'll try some of this. Oh, come on. Hopefully it's going to come out of there. Let me see. There, now it's coming out. I really like this cat. Speaking of cats, good grief, my uh, neighbor's cat. I don't know if she got chased up a tree or what happened, but when was it? Saturday morning. She was up at the top of a really tall tree, probably, I don't know, 30, 40 feet. I don't know if something chased her up there or what happened, but she was up there and would not come down. She ended up being there all day. They kept trying to coax her down and Sunday morning, someone came over with a ladder, and it wasn't tall enough, and they ended up going to the fire department. And the fire department came to the rescue. Got the poor kitty down. Bet he won't be going up that tree again. Okay, so that's that. And we've got black and white. So I think I might use some of this washi. If I can find the end. I usually put the glue stick, but I'm not even gonna attempt that. I may go back later and pull this up and tape it, or put some glue on it. And 
I don't want this. Maybe I should have put this up at the top. Okay, what do you think of that? Is that okay? Hmm. All right. I'll go ahead and put some fabric fix on here. Get this glued down. Okay, do I like this or not? Not sure if I do. What do you think? What about a torn, uneven kind of strip? Where's my list? Okay, we have... Oh, the name. Where did I put that? Gosh, I forgot the name. Ugh, should have put the name up there, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I will cut... Maybe I'll just cut the name out. something else. Okay. About that. Put it there, or we could put it down here. What do we think? Or up here. Hmm. Not sure where I want him. Let me make it just a wee bit. So then I don't know if I can get much ink on it, but that's okay. Either here or down there. Oh, can't we use that glue stick? Um, all right, where'd the other glue go? Ah, here it is. Let's get a little bit on here. Now, what are we missing? So, we've got a name, an animal, travel item, something black and white, something written or drawn with your non-dominant hand, or the bonus is a triangle. I don't know that I want to write anything with my non-dominant hand. What if I just cut a triangle? This paper left. Not exactly what I was planning on doing with it, but that's okay. Well, I don't like that. I 
make a smaller triangle. Ooh, definitely an uneven triangle. All right, let me see. Straighten it out a little better. Go ahead and ink the sides. Figure out where to put it. Hmm. Don't know where to put it. All right, y'all, I'm not seeing anywhere I want to put it. Not liking the triangle. I usually try to work some of this out before I just start gluing things down, but I sure didn't today. All right, can somebody tell me where to put this? I wish I could hear you. Hmm. wonder if I can pull that up a little. No, I'm just going to end up making a mess. Okay. This is just ridiculous. In the meantime, I'll slide my list right in the pocket here and try to decide what to do here. Well, I think this is probably the trickiest one I've had to work in. I don't like it anywhere. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to draw with our non-dominant hand. What do you think? Oh, this is, this is going to be tricky. Okay. Can we do it? Gosh. All right, I think I'm just ruining the whole thing, but what the heck. Hmm. That looks kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? I wonder if we can put the triangle on it now. No. I don't know what else to do with that. That's ridiculous. Ay, ay, ay. Do I want to put a, another number there? What about a word? Oh my goodness. Let's see. What do I have? <laughs> it's a good one. Except, except this mess. Don't like that. I'm just going to put this number two. That's what I'm going to do. Or, let's see something. Okay. Well, get off. or not, that's what I'm going to do. So, as you can tell, 
I absolutely didn't plan ahead at all on this one. Usually I'll at least when I'm sitting here stick a few things down, see how it looks. But that's okay, and this is what we've ended up with. Hope you like it, and hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon. Happy crafting.